Hello, good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you, Andre Octaviano. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, can you turn on the video, please? I never see your face. Okay. All right. That's uh, Muhammad Hamzalfi and Zakia Muhammad Shah. Okay. Nice to meet you. And Andre Octaviano. Um, I'm waiting for your friends. I don't know why would <laughs> some of them may be late or something. Okay. So... Um, did you use the same Zoom invitation that I sent you last week? Okay, did, did, did uh, everyone use the same uh, Zoom link that I sent you last week? Masuknya melalui link yang kemarin ya, yang sudah saya kirimkan. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. all right. So while I'm waiting for your friends, I'd like to go on uh, with the next unit, um, um, unit six. So as you can see on the slides, um, hold on, we are waiting for, okay. okay. This is English conversation two. Have you downloaded the file that I send you in the portal? Sudah di-download tadi ya, uh, materinya di portal? Sudah, sir. Sudah, oke, okay, good. So, I hope that you have read the list of the vocabulary and the pictures. So, it's quite easy for us to practice the conversation. All right, so, um, although you are Japanese literature department, di penjurusan setelah Jepang, ternyata belajar uh, bahasa Inggris. Uh, okay. So, um, this is the unit six, housing. Last week, we have discussed about places to live inside your home, uh, finding the right home and utility problems. And the last unit was tenants and then lords. Today, we will continue the unit six. Kita akan melanjutkan unit ke enam, yaitu ensuring your property, moving entering the door, neighborhood problems, and neighborhood improvements. Um, today, we will have three sessions. I'm going to explain uh, unit six in session one and session two. Um, in the third session, I will explain about the assignment for next week. So please stay tuned. Jadi di sesi ketiga nanti saya akan menjelaskan Tugas uh, tentang conversation yang assignment satu, conversation practice one. Um, banyak yang bertanya bagaimana tugasnya buat meeting ketiga. Nah, sekarang saya jelaskan nanti di sesi ketiga. Ya, sesi pertama ini kita materi untuk hari ini terlebih dahulu. Unit six about housing. Um, okay, so this is the list of the vocabulary that are important for you to uh, know and remember. And this, the first one is insuring your property. Kemarin kita sudah membahas tentang mencari rumah, kemudian tempat, lalu kita mengenal berbagai macam bentuk bangunan. Today, we will talk about insuring your property. Has anyone know what does it mean with insuring? What is this? Insuring. Uh, nah dengar kata insuring? Asuransi. Uh, asuransi. Asuransi, oke. Okay. Um, asuransi, nah kalau asuransi itu bahasa Inggrisnya insurance ya. Nah, uh, tapi kalau insuring ini dalam bentuk gerund dan ini berfungsi sebagai kata kerja verb gerund, jadi menjadi menjamin atau mengasuransikan properti Anda. Nah, properti ini maksudnya barang-barang, uh, rumah, peralatan, segala macam. Oke, okay, so this is insuring your property. 
we have this uh, vocabulary. The first one is assess and damage. Uh, dog bite. Okay, uh, kita minta lah. Uh, Jelita Maharani, please read the list of vocabulary in here. Number one until number eight. Okay, uh, silakan Jelita Maharani. Uh, silakan dibaca ininya yang nomor satu sampai nomor delapan. Okay, sir. Uh, number one, uh, assess. Number two, damage. Number three, dog bite. Number four, dwelling. Number five, uh, fire damage. Number six, how owner. Number seven, this insurance adjuster. Uh, eight, insurance coverage. Okay, thank you. Now, so this list is important for you to know in relation to the topic about insuring your property. Um, okay, we have nine, number nine, and number 11. And kita lanjut aja sampai nomor 21. Silakan dibaca oleh Zakia. Thanks, sir. <clears throat> number nine, liability. Number 10, liable. 11, loss of property. 12, mandatory insurance. 13, optional insurance. 14, premium. 15, protection. 17, repair cost. Um, replacement cost. Smoke damage. Stolen property. Storm damage. Water damage. Okay. Thank you, Zakina. So this list is, is related to the topic about insuring your property. The first one is the word assess. Assess means that when you try to examine what is going on with the property, that is the assess. Uh, damage, um, I think I, you already know what is the meaning of the word damage. Anyone know what is damage is? How about do damage? Rusakan, yeah? Ini, for example, the picture number one, what happened? Ini, picture discussion kita lihat. What is happening in each end? Number one, picture one. What happened? Ini, dari kosa kata ini, kita lihat. What happened? Damage, sir. Damage, good. What damage? Um, what happened? The car, okay. The car was hit by um, branch of the tree, ranting the cabang pohonnya ini, and also the house or roof atap rumah ini was broken because of the damage uh, by the tree. And this one, what what type of damage that we can see in here? Because kira-kira damage-nya jadi karena apa ini kalau pohon seperti ini? What happened? Storm. Storm. Storm damage. Good. Storm damage. So uh, we try to think that, oh, it happened because of storm. And the storm damage uh, causes this. And picture number two, what happened? Hmm. This dog. <laughs> what dog bite. dog bite? Good dog bite. So, uh, this man is trying to enter the house, and the homeowner. Nah, ini istilahnya. The homeowner let the man get inside, but the dog bite the man's leg, menggigit kaki pria ini. That's that's the problem. The dog bite. So, well, dog actually dog is has has that kind of um, not intuition. It's just instinct, animal instinct. If you feed them, they will think that uh, you love them. 
and they will try to protect you. Although what they do will somehow uh, be seen as a wrong one, <laughs> like this one, dog bite. This man tries to help, but then uh, the dog bites the man. And picture number three, what happened? Fire damage. Fire damage, correct. This is the fire damage. And it was caused. And what do we call this item in English? Um, what, do you, what do we call that? Um, we don't have that here in Padang. So quite rare. People have it quite rare. Um, you use this for cooking, for making bake, or cake, cookies. <laughs> what do we call this? Oven. Yeah, this one is stove. oven, a stove. Uh, well, basically, you can call this electric stove. Electric stove. We actually, I never see people use electric stove in Padang. Well, maybe some, but not many. Electric stove, you can uh, cook, but you will not see fire on top of this stove. So that's the difference between electric stove, gas stove, and fire stove. And this one is the uh, microwave oven. So they combine uh, microwave oven and electric stove. Mm. Mm. There is also another possibility that this is not fire stuff could be, but you, we see water in here, water. Um, yeah, it, it could be fire damage or dwelling, and it can also mean uh, water damage. Yeah, there's also a possibility that this is water damage. Why? Because um, people use this for laundry, for washing clothes. Nah, menggunakan ini untuk mencuci pakaian. Ini disebut dengan ya mencuci. Ya, jadi there is two possibilities. Ini gambarnya nggak terlalu ini ya. Ini yang pertama bisa fire damage or we can also call it as uh, water damage. What about the fourth picture? What happened? There is a police woman and the man is sitting on a chair. On a sofa or a couch. Mm -hmm. What happened? Stolen property. Okay. Um, stolen property. Good. It's stolen property. Because uh, certain property was stolen. Look at this mess. And this painting on the wall. And this room lamp. Lampu ruangan. Ini sebutnya. Kalau yang di atas atap namanya roof lamp. Lampu atap. Ada table lamp lampu meja ada lampu kamar mandi bedroom bathroom lamp so there are many many types of lamp depending on where you can find it and they call this this is a mess so the police officer tried to examine this man what happened and what's going on and so forth um we okay i believe that you already know but this one is interesting number seven insurance adjuster it means that when you try to register yourself for insurance, there is an officer who comes to your house and asks you a few questions about your insurance. And the officer will adjust. Nah, jadi petugasnya itu akan menyesuaikan atau adjust keperluan Anda, preminya berapa sebulan, setahun itu seberapa, administrasi. So that is called as insurance adjuster. Um, and this one, loss of property, I believe you already know. This is quite a general for you to know. Replacement cost. Apa bedanya repair and replacement? What's different? Repair and replacement. Memperbaiki dan mengganti. Hmm, memperbaiki dan mengganti. Good. So, repair means that you try to fix the item. And when you pay for that, it becomes repair cost. But if you will try to change the item completely, then that is known as replacement. 
And usually insurance will do this replacement cost within the within this one. They call it insurance coverage. Apa yang ditanggung? Okay. Um, number two, we've discussed that. What caused the damages or loss? This is okay. All right. Now this is the first one. Insuring your property. The next one we would like to come to the next moving. Okay, this is interesting. Still dealing with housing, I believe you have done moving uh, in your life, or you might probably stay in the same house from you were born. <laughs> I believe so. But if you have moved, that's good. It's a different experience. First uh, picture number one, number two, number three, and number four. So these people are moving from one place to another. We we see this the list vocabulary. Kita lihat dulu kosakatanya. Ada 21 kosakata yang me, berkaitan dengan gambar ini ya. Moving. Kira-kira uh, moving itu apa itu dalam bahasa Indonesia? What is that? Ah, pindah. 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 Ah, ya. Untung untung tidak dijawab bergerak. <laughs> Karena ada di tahun sebelumnya ada yang menjawab bergerak. Oke, okay, betul. Ini kalau dicek di kamus bergerak, artinya move movement uh, bergerak. But in this context, it is known as uh, pindah. Yeah? Depending on this uh, context, gambar. Number one until twenty one, um, we would like to invite um, who's going to be the next one. Semuin lah si siapa tadi yang pertama kali nongol. Di online, si Andre Octaviano. Silahkan, Andre. Please read this. Number one is belongings or position. Two, breakable. Three, bump. Four, great. Five, delicate. Six, farewell. Seven, glassware. Eight, hole. Nine, house hold goods. Ten, leave behind. Uh, 12 yeah, eight. um 11 misplaced 12 nick uh, 13 organized 14 pack 15 packing books uh, 16 put away 17 transport 18 unload uh, 19 unwrap 20 utility trailer 20, 21 wrap. Mm, okay, thank you, Andre. We have this uh, list of vocabulary that uh, link to the idea of uh, moving. The first one, of course, you have your, when you are about to move to another place, of course, you need to know this, your belongings or your possession. Ini sama artinya dengan semua barang-barang kepunyaan Anda. You have to carry them all with you. Belongings, makanya dari asal kata belong menjadi belongings. Uh, possess, dari kata kerja uh, possess menjadi possessions. All right, so that's the possessions. And now we have this word for breakable. Um, breakable, what does it mean with breakable? Anyone knows what does it mean, breakable? Pecah. Barang pecah belah ya. Mudah pecah artinya breakable. So you need to separate, for example, like this one. You see glasses and tools, toys, uh, pots and pans. So you put them together as one as the uh, breakable uh, stuff. Benda-benda yang bisa pecah. Bump. Bump. Uh, bump. Bump itu maksudnya ketika meletakkan kardusnya itu diletakkan juga dilempar gitu bump and then great delicate farewell farewell usually when you have to say goodbye this one this is farewell bye take care that's that's one thing that you're going to see um, well actually most English speakers whom I visit before they rarely say goodbye they just say bye bye or have a good move um, have a good new place for you. Seperti itu. Jadi tidak 
goodbye. Kalau goodbye itu seperti uh, tidak akan ketemu lagi. Goodbye, benar-benar berpisah. Ya, yeah, so you say um, bye bye atau something like that. And glassware, glassware ini semuanya ini disebut dengan glassware itu berdiri kaca. Whole household goods. Uh, I leave behind misplaced nick. Hmm, packing box. Okay. Now we would like to see picture one. What happened to this one? Packing box. Mm -hmm. Packing box. Packing box and. Mm -hmm. And what else? Packing box. And this one. Pack. Pack. You need to pack, yeah, pack. Uh, misalnya kalau kalian misalnya lagi uh, ada uh, satu kos-kosan dengan teman misalnya satu kamar sharing, terus ada konflik misalnya, uh, kalau bahasa Inggrisnya silakan pergi misalnya pack your belongings. Nah, jangan kalau sama orang bule, artinya bahasa Indonesia sama seperti ambil barang-barangmu dan pergi. Pack your belongings and leave. Nah, itu berarti nggak uh, suka orang itu ya. That's uh, quite different. And number two, picture two. What happened? Leave behind. Leave behind. Good. What else? Farewell. 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 It's a kalau orang British lama orang Inggris itu biasanya ada pakai dia di disaku itu kalau you nonton uh, Phantom of the Opera ada juga film klasik lama itu mereka farewell itu melambaikan sapu tangan begini uh, bye misalnya I'll take care uh, have a good trip or you can say um, have a good day in your new place misalnya jadi uh, kebiasaan mereka itu selalu mendoakan dan mengharapkan yang positif ya yeah. Uh, it's known to you. Nah, itu sama seperti dengan makna uh, uh, Assalamualaikum ya. That's that's the same uh, meaning but different inclination and uh, goals. What about picture number three? Unload. Mm -hmm, good, unload. So, uh, these people need to unload the belongings and they move to a new house. Ini ini sepertinya setting gambarnya agak ini ya. Kira-kira daerah mana ini? Ini ada gunung, uh, matahari. Ini tanaman apa kira-kira ini? Kaktus. Kaktus ya, kaktus dan bentuk rumahnya seperti ini nih. Nah, ini ada pohon apa ini? Pohon kelapa. Uh, pohon kelapa. Kelapa ya, kelapa bukannya ini agak rendah ini, yang di Arab itu gurun pasir itu pohon apa itu kurma, pohon apa sih? Um, ada semacam pohon palem, pohon palem. Um, so it's maybe it's somewhere, somewhere near the, um, I think it's closer to Texas or some somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where where, where the picture is. So that's it's just correct. This is unload. And what happened with this table? This child looks so um, scared or screaming. What happened to the table? Broken. Mm -hmm. Broken. Or which one? Misplaced. Misplaced, yeah, misplaced. That's uh, misplaced that there is something that missing uh, for the item in here, especially on the table. Now we move to the fourth picture. Uh, the woman is uh, breast or giving a glass of water to the baby. Uh, the child is screaming. The man is doing something. Okay, what happened? I sure got. Mm -hmm. What happened? Which one? Okay, house, household goods. 
furniture, yeah, there's goods. Good. There's a household goods. You can see uh, many goods in here. And then we have what else? Mm -hmm. We have this one organized. So they they begin to organize the items. Nah, jadi uh, berbeda ya kalau di luar negeri itu di Amerika saya perhatikan rumah itu kalau di renta rental itu sebenarnya dia dilaporkan ke bagian uh, distrik selanya kalau wali kota misalnya kan jadi kalau you you di sana nggak lagi cari-cari rumah-rumah puter-muter keliling terus nggak <tuh> jadi tinggal mencari agen yang properti misalnya atau ke bagian wali kota mengenai perumahan yang milik dari pemerintah uh, daerah nanti bisa sewa ke sana dan kalau rusak aja dindingnya itu bayar denda di situ nah kalau di sini kan kita ada yang udah lama tinggal kemudian listrik ini nggak dibayar <laughs> macamnya so that's karena tidak ada peraturan ya yang mengatur itu the individual case alright so <coughs> kalau nanti kalau kalian jadi uh, seperti ini properti itu benar-benar dijaga, dijaga ya and we have a list behind make organize utility trailer unload good transport this is transport that You need to bring the belongings to a new place. This is called as a transport. The next one, after moving, of course, now you stay in the house. You have your own house, and you will have your uh, neighbor or people come to your door. So that's what they call answering the door. Answering the door. Ini maksudnya bukan menjawab pintu. Okay. Opening the door when someone knocked, yang mengetuk pintu ya. Hmm. Dan kalau di Amerika itu di Perancis juga di beberapa negara di Eropa yang saya pahami, if you want to come to someone's house, you need to let them know before or first hand. Misalnya sekarang kan hari Senin pagi nih, kalian mau berkunjung ke rumah saya misalnya nanti siang, berarti harus dikasih tahu kemarin. So and make sure that I am uh, available in my house. Jadi kalau misalnya kita datang-datang aja kayak gitu, kadang-kadang orang yang di rumahnya nggak ada, pergi gitu kan, just let them know, <coughs> kasih tahu kapan misalnya. And so answering the door, we have picture one, picture two, picture three, and picture four. Um, this is interesting, so bring flower, kids, And uh, these two kids, uh, and another one is uh, fixing the grass. Okay, we see this vocabulary. Ada 20 kosa kata yang berkaitan dengan gambar ini. Nah, silakan kita baca terlebih dahulu. Hmm, siapa yang mau baca ini? Silakan. Jadi, Elvi. Siapa? Oh, Karen. Okay, silakan. Uh, number one is maze. Number mm -hmm. two, coaches. Number three, uh, chain lock. Mm -hmm. Number four, carry table. Number five, ch charity. Mm -hmm. Number six, collection. Seven, deliver newspaper. Eight, distrust. Nine, distrustful. 10, door knocker, 11, door to door, 12, fearful, 13, girl's coat, 14, love mower, 15, overgrown, 16, pay for, 17, special delivery, 18, stranger, 19, unexpected, 20, worry. Okay, all right. Uh, thank you, uh, Karin. Now we have this 20 words that relates to this picture. The first one we have the word amazed, uh, cautious, chain lock. Uh, ini tadi bunyinya uh, girl scout. Uh, kalau American English namanya uh, scout. Uh, let me show you. Um, nanti abis ini ya, saya lihat kan. Uh, girl scout and then lawn mower. Uh, deliver newspapers. 
distrust ini ada dari kata trust trust ini percaya jadi kalau distrust berarti tidak bisa dipercaya distrust I distrust you misalnya berarti tidak tidak percaya ya kemudian distrustful kalau ada seseorang yang berkata ini kepada kalian misalnya apa you are so distrustful nah berarti dia benar-benar marah dan kecewa itu artinya jadi nggak akan bisa lagi berhubungan sama dia berhubungan sama dia dalam hal-hal yang doing something project or assignment or working together gitu loh karena uh, bagi orang-orang Eropa uh, Anglo-Saxon namanya mereka ada kebijakan honesty is the best policy kejujuran adalah di atas dari peraturan gitu loh kejujuran makanya kalau bagi mereka itu sangat menghargai orang-orang yang jujur bukan orang-orang yang pintar ya karena orang pintar bisa jadi dia nggak jujur tapi kalau orang yang jujur sudah pasti dia pintar dan berbudi um, the next one we have this picture hmm, kira-kira apa ini kita link dengan kosakatanya apa yang mana which one amaze good mm-hmm. Wow, you bring flowers, misalnya, katanya begitu ya. Amazed, and then what else? Ah. Unexpected. Unexpected. Yeah. <coughs> mm-hmm. Unexpected. And then what else? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> mm-hmm. Special delivery. Special delivery, good. Is it special delivery? Um, when you get this big. Big flower. Uh, how would you react like this? Amazing. Amazing, yeah, amazing. Tapi kalau misalnya bagi orang yang udah tinggal di kebun bunga, misalnya dapat bunga mungkin nggak terlalu terlalu spesial ya. Uh, depend on the context. Uh, uh, ya, yeah, usually kalau di uh, Anglo-Saxon itu di, di budaya mereka, flowers represent uh, special attention. Jadi bunga itu mewakili perhatian khusus itu kultur mereka ya hmm, makanya perempuan itu diidentikan dengan flowers hmm, not men unfortunately uh, okay and we have this word <coughs> picture number two what word that is suitable for this one chain look mm-hmm. chain Distrust. look good chain look <clears throat> distress are you sure distress mm-hmm. no it's not distressed this one is chain lock with here chain lock ini ada pintunya seperti ini uh, ini gunanya kalau ada elderly namanya ini elderly orang yang sudah tua tinggal uh, nenek kakek misalnya ya dan ditemani seekor anjing di sana uh, ya itu uh, habit mereka juga gak apa-apa and Ada anak-anak yang masuk, ini gunanya chain lock ini, supaya ketika kita membukakan pintu untuk seseorang, ada orang lain yang menemaninya, kita tidak mau. Itu misalnya ya, itu gunanya chain lock. Jadi bisa aman, misalnya menerima pizza, misalnya, atau delivery. Kita baru sekarang delivery gosen. Mereka udah dari tahun 90-an udah delivery. Sudah ada pizza hut seperti itu ya. So it's different, <coughs> different kind of uh, style. All right. Now, um, I think the time is about to be limited. Um, empat menit lagi. And what about this one? Picture number three. What word that is suitable with this one? A4. What word? Pay for good. Pay for hmm. newspaper. Uh, newspaper. Newspaper. Deliver newspaper. Uh, deliver newspaper. Number. Uh, picture four. Deliver newspapers. Okay, this one. Mm-hmm. What else? Mm-hmm. What else? Um, we Charity. Have... Charity, yeah. Maybe this this woman's trying to take uh, a piece, a few money from her bag or her wallet, and she was about to give to uh, this kid, maybe or 
Yeah, this unfortunate kid. Newspaper, yeah, you can see on his hand here. And what about picture number four? What happened? Lawn mower. Lawn mower. Lawn mower, yeah, lawn mower. Uh -huh. And what happened to the grass? What happened? Overgrown. Overground, <laughs> perfect, yes. So you cannot say the grass are long. <laughs> no, you cannot say like that, but you can say uh, the grass has been overgrown. Overgrown is an adjective. This is the grass has been overgrown. So oh, we need a man to cut the grass down. Mm, seperti ini ya. Jadi tidak, kalau di kita kan masih pakai sabit tuh, pakai alat-alat. Gunting segala macam. Kalau di sini sudah pakai alat seperti ini. It's a, a machine, and that's why I always mention that for some aspect kita uh, beberapa tahun di belakang dari uh, negara Amerika ini ya. Uh, kita mereka baru 76 tahun. So there are things that we need to learn uh, from from them. Ada beberapa hal yang perlu kita pelajari yang bagus dan cocok untuk Indonesia. Okay, so um, this is answering the door. You need to know and remember when you want to enter someone's house, you need to knock. That's knocking. Uh, kalau di kita kan ada misalnya, uh, kita udah, 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 kenal, udah kenal nih orang yang mau kita masukin, kita bilang Assalamualaikum misalnya. Tapi kalau misalnya orangnya bukan non-Muslim atau um, tidak beragama Islam, what should you say? In English, bukan bahasa Indonesia ini. Kalau bahasa Indonesia, selamat siang, selamat pagi, ada orang di rumah, begitu kan. Nah, kalau in English, what will you say? Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Yes, good the morning. moment. Good morning. You can say good morning. Hello. Uh, you knock on the door and you say, uh, excuse me, anybody home? Um, fine. Nanti lihat jamnya. Kalau jam 11 malam ke atas, jangan. Better not to do that because that will uh, disturb people's family time. Okay. Mm. All right. So less than one minute. So we will continue with the next session. Sesi kedua um, in the previous invitation. Okay. So I stop share here. Um, I'll see you in uh, session uh, two. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.